Aquarius. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine, Aquarius Sun Moon Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Aquarius Tarot reading. Aquarius love tarot reading, Aquarius love reading, and as is very often the case here at the Tarot Closet, Aquarius love messages reading, channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Aquarius, I'm channeling for you in January 2024. Happy New Year if you are here in real time, which of course you could be, but you could also be here many months, even years later, and that is because this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. So welcome, whether you're here in January 2024 or you're here in many months later, years later, I'm glad you made your way here. I want to show you the energy that's coming in. Look at that. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you're here. So somebody is getting some clarity. Look, holding on to that sword, that crown, of course, connecting to the crown chakra, getting some messages, also wanting to work something out via truth here. So realizing that they need to come here with the truth, it's the Queen of Swords, Libra, ruled by Venus energy. So total honesty here, both what you want and both it looks like what they're bringing. So I like the start of your reading. Let's see what else is going on. What is this truth around and how is it coming? Aquarius, all the decks that I'm bringing in today are linked below. You'll also find all the playlists, of course, your Aquarius Zodiac readings and, well, all 12 Zodiac readings. You'll also find all signs tarot readings. Those are love readings for the collective. And if you are on a Twin Flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth Twin Flame readings below. So feel free to check anything out you're inspired to check out. Aquarius, we have the King of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So the truth of how they feel yeah, also what's go what has been going on here because they're riding on the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo ruled by Mercury energy, saying that you can count on them and they're ready to to make this happen. They're ready to do the work, pushing through some obstacles here. There's also some humility, some apologetic energy. And I'm wondering what are the issues, some trust issues for sure, because look at the harness, it's not fastened here. If they take off on this horse now, they could actually fall off of it. <laughs> I feel like this is both some of the past energy and what they're coming in here with. So we know this is the truth of how they feel. And what else? And that King of Cups, repressing feelings, the master of emotions, Pisces energy. Aquarius, remember this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everyone. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. I want to show you more energy that's coming through the Ace of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, the Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. So it can be that they're reaching out via message. They're working something out or they've worked something out here. And is that just around how they feel, the truth of how they feel? Are they coming here with an offer? Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. This archway, it's like a new direction, you know, and it looks like it might be coming out of nowhere. This is a really particularly emotional horse here in the Six of Wands. And they're holding up a victory wreath. They're also wearing it. So yeah, we saw that in the King of Cups. How they feel about you coming through. But is there an offer as well? I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so much. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Please show us what else Aquarius needs to see. Aho. The Six of Swords in reverse, the High Priestess. 
the hangman in reverse. The ace of wands, the queen of swords is back, the truth. The queen of wands as well. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so the truth is most definitely on the way. And it looks like your person is too. Nine of Pentacles, the Moon Energy, the Eight of Wands. In reverse, the Ace of Cups, the Three of Wands. Whoa! The Seven of Swords in reverse. So definitely coming in here with an apology, wanting to open up and communicate. It could be that it's coming out of nowhere. It looks like they're having a little bit of trouble either writing a message or figuring out what to say. Eight of Wands in reverse. Mercury, Sagittarius energy. It's like a delay. But we see here with the Seven of Swords in reverse that they're wanting to come in here and make this apology. So there has been some dishonesty here. Is this just not communicating? Is this physically having moved from the, the connection? Because that's coming through here too. And they're coming back in this Eight of Cups in reverse. Saturn and Pisces energy, really wanting to open up, communicate, reveal how they feel. That's been coming through quite strong. They're also coming here with the Nine of Pentacles. That is bringing in, bringing in commitment, bringing in love here. They're definitely coming here with the truth. And look what's connecting with the Queen of Swords who was back. It's the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So an offer. Is this just now it can be a marriage proposal? Do I feel like this is what's going on? It's not real clear. Of course, it, it could be here. But proposals are new beginnings. So it can be that this is in this cup is an apology coming out of nowhere. It can be that it, it is an offer to maybe something quite big, but it can also be to meet to talk. And it does look like it's coming out of nowhere. The inspiration here in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ace of Wands. And this is where their energy is the strongest. And it's connecting directly here with the Eight of Cups in reverse, which is your person coming back in here. This is where their energy is the strongest. The person you're here for today, your specific person, maybe it's somebody just popping into your mind. The Moon energy, Pisces, Cancer and Gemini also coming through. You know, this is an 18, of course, that comes to a 9, and that's things coming to fruition, attainment, fulfillment. And we know that's around how they feel, but that's also them returning here. For some of you, this may be someone you've been in this cycle with for a while. This 8 is an action number. It's also connected to karma, infinity, balance, and renewal. It has been a really st strong, I want to say, period of uncertainty, there's kind of some selfish energy here. Everyone's kind of sick of it. Ten of Wands coming here and the upright Jupiter and Sagittarius energy exhausting. A lot of burdens around it. Putting those down and communicating here. Literally, look, grabbing one of the wands and coming in here. Both the sun and the moon energy. Conscious and the subconscious highlighting the moon. Giving us that big, beautiful full moon, which is revealing a lot of feelings and emotions, which we're also seeing here in the High Priestess, Divine Feminine Energy, right here in the Partnership Placement, connecting to the Seven of Swords in reverse, who's coming back in here. So what has the dishonesty been about? We see it's been stagnant, the lack of communication, the Six of Swords in reverse, because there's definitely an apology here, where they also not willing to compromise around something? Is this also running physically again, like the, the disconnect, the breakup energy? I think so for a lot of you, it's not just about not communicating. But the confidence here of the Queen of Wands, and also they reveal this little Queen of Wands kitty here is a great secret keeper. <laughs> and also a healer, interestingly enough, you know, kitties, their per vibrations are they're actually medically therapeutic. They have eight chakras. But coming in here with an apology for sure with the truth, the three of wands in the upright, sun and Aries energy, a teamwork energy, a collaborative energy. For some of you, it can be that somebody's traveling by boat. <laughs> 
not necessarily, of course. This is not an air energy, but there are three boats in here and that's around timing. And that's also that air energy of Gemini, Libra and Aquarius here. Of course, this is the sun in Aries. But of clarity in this relationship, them getting it and also bringing it, transactional energy, truth. Look, communication, timing. So has it just been around somebody being ready, somebody not, or just the timing of even coming together? Because the separation I feel like has been, I don't know if it was initiated by the other party, by your person, but they've just kind of haven't been moving. And this is, I mean, there's some fear around the emotions. I mean, we already saw that in the King of Cups. You move that little crustacean out of the way and all these backed up emotions flow right through the stream between you, which is still here, but somebody's afraid. And not in touch, I want to say, digging into that intuition, trusting gut instincts. These are your guardian angels. We see the fear here, but we also see the return and we see the connection to the high priestess, which is the opposite of that. Of course, it's connecting to intuition, trusting and revealing and making this decision. It's also renewed spark energy. So the truth and what is coming with that, it might be a lot more. This can be around marriage proposal energy. We need, we need to get more too. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is. The six of pentacles coming in, a reciprocal energy, the 10 of pentacles, the emperor, Wow, so that's not surprising at all. And the Empress, both here. And the Knight of Pentacles came back. Okay, so they are coming in here. This is movement with that Pentacle commitment. Contract, relationship. You know, we see what's gone on here, what's been going on. The, the, the harness is not fastened, you know? So it's like a lot of details around that. This is Virgo and Mercury energy. So there are, they weren't, I don't know if they weren't ready or, or what. They're on the course here now saying that they're ready, but this needs to still be addressed and they still need to fasten that harness because otherwise they're just going to plop right off of this horse. And this is a particular horse full of humility. So there's a lot, there is a lot of apologetic energy here. You know, you can see the victory wreath kind of jacked up here in their helmet also here on the horse, wearing their armor, of course, it's a knight, but that is a little bit of conflicting energy. And that's kind of like, I'm here, but it's, but it's like, yeah, but fasten that harness because it's been really stagnant. And look what's been coming in. So yeah, this is just really clear. So six of pentacles, upright energy, moon and Taurus energy. And it's literally, look what you've been waiting for here. The Seven of Pentacles. This is Venus and Taurus energy. On that Seventh Pentacle, assessing the situation, figuring out, do you want to wait anymore? You know, you've been patient. You've been waiting for this Nine of Pentacles to fasten that harness. Trust issues, commitment issues. What is that? Because you're looking at the Six of Pentacles here, and that's a reciprocal energy, the Moon and Taurus. So it's both communicating, opening up, getting over their fear, sharing how they feel, communi again, communicating, revealing what they've been hiding, which are feelings and what else, because it's been breaking some heart energy here. But returning is really strong. The seven of swords in reverse, the eight of cups in reverse. There may have been some ghosting around here. And that's what you've been waiting for. And we see, are they getting here in the nick of time? Because the Six of Pentacles is coming in, the Moon and Taurus, the reciprocal energy, the giving energy, literally what you've been waiting for. You know, the balance here coming in, the renewal. So that's another question. What has been possibly getting more of your person's time or energy or heart? Is it just around commitment? Are there other things here? Because it has been a really strong period of uncertainty. They haven't been acting. They are now. The Queen of Swords came back. So we know that cup has truth in it. I think there's a lot more in there too. This dove, of course, they come in pairs. Lovey dovey. It's a lot of peaceful energy, making peace energy, diving into this cup, this baptismal cup, creating a lot of waves out of the blue. 
Yeah, so sharing how they feel moving forward, really trying to communicate. And I do feel that that's going to come out of nowhere. And there is a timing element. Have they read something, seen something, has something kind of made them a little bit jealous, perhaps? Because they're, they're kind of moving fast, I feel, or they're going to. You know, you can see it here. It's just, I feel like it's just going to come out of the blue. Because you have one foot out the door, leaning on the staff, your wand, reflecting on everything here, thinking of a lot of the time you've spent in, on this connection, and do you want to anymore? There is some selfish energy here. You're tired of, I mean, I feel like it's just been how, what's been going on, because look, that Ten of Wands too, it's like really frustrating, exhausting. It's like, I want to put these down, new cycle. Can we communicate? Are you going to, are you going to communicate here? Yeah, it looks like they are. And this is the other thing. Look at this. The Emperor and the Empress are both here. Also, the King of Swords in reverse. And it's interesting because it was connecting with the Seven of Pentacles. So we know there has been a lack of communication here. We also know that there is a delay in the communication. We can see it. How long has that been going on? It's like, it's enough already. It's just whether this is, even if this is, closure for some of you, this communication needing to happen, this apology needing to happen. I feel like it's a lot more. You're still here. Look, and you're both here. And here's the thing. We all have divine feminine, divine masculine energy. So this is not about gender, but you are both here. And there's two things going on. Yeah, they've been hiding a lot of how they feel. There is, I feel like, some kind of compromise that they may not have been willing to make, that they may be all ready to make. Is that connected to the Ten of Pentacles in the upright? I think so. That's long-term commitment. And it can also be around some marriage energy here. Again, it's not for everybody, but that, that's, that, that's what it is. Excuse me. But that's long-term energy here in the Ten of Pentacles. Mercury and Virgo energy. Were you in a long-term commitment? Were you working toward that? Were you together for a long time? Or was it just still moving along? Or was it on the table? Because it's very much here between, look at this, the emperor and the empress. It's energy. It's kind of like old married couple energy. It doesn't mean that you are, but it could have been. But working toward it, and it's definitely on everybody's mind, and it's still here. But you've been waiting to communicate. So whether this is someone you're actually, you're still with, and you're just having a lot of issues, or it's a total separation, or you're someone you're just having trouble communicating with, whatever the case is, we see that they haven't been. Again, this is Gemini and Mercury energy and also Mercury in that Eight of Wands in reverse. So it's the lack of communication. It could just be phone calls, sitting and talking, messages you're waiting for. But looking again at these six pentacles here and the seven of pentacles and those six pentacles, that is the moon and Taurus energy. And that's, we see it here. Look, the opening up, getting over their fear, sharing how they feel, opening up and communicating in a new way. They are coming in with that. Also here with the Eight of Cups in reverse, where it is, look. And the thing is, with the Emperor and the Empress, of course, Divine Masculine Energy, Aries and Mars Energy, the Empress, Divine Feminine Energy, Taurus and Venus, also bringing in some Libra Energy. So it's both a balance around your person's energy, because that Ankir, you know, that is yin yang energy. That's divine feminine, divine masculine energy, life and, and balance, a, a sacred energy, authoritative. And that's the balance that's needed. Also, the divine feminine, divine masculine energy, so that you can be clear and honest with yourself and you can bring that to another. And we see that coming here with kind of like, I feel like the stand in to justice. The Queen of Swords is like my. My protege <laughs> to justice, also Libra and Venus energy, and balancing those energies out so that you can be clear and be truthful with yourself so you can bring that. So that's happening here. They're also coming in in a much more open way, an emotionally available way, or they're trying to very much, wanting to restart. I feel this connection, wanting to be honest, connecting to the fifth chakra, the truth. So that is here. It's really, really strong. And the Empress, of course, divine timing, communication, growth. The Empress can create and grow 
anything, all about new beginnings. You know, she's connected to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. So it's like restarting this and making this decision and how things are coming. So all that energy is here. You know, look at all the emotion, everything that's been collected here in the pond. It's time. Holding on to the scepter, the power of life, in charge of all, again, all 12 star signs, like the leader. So having access to everything here, which is really needed here with the Ten of Pentacles. But it's also an energy, again, and it's not about gender, but of you both being here. You're both here for it. So were you in a long-term connection or was that the plan? So you were either there working toward it or it was the plan. It was on the table. It's still on the table and I feel like you're both here for it. This is going here today. The emperor, the empress on each side. Really wanting, you want your person to be honest and you want the truth. And I feel like you want what is in that cup, which is truth and honesty. You've been waiting for it. But... There are also two really strong energies here with the Emperor and the Emperor. So it's not going to be taking it in little parts or sort of halfway. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I need it all. Fasten that harness. <laughs> Fasten the harness here. Be honest. And that confident energy coming through with the Queen of Wands. Here also with the High Priestess, I like that. And connecting with the Emperor energy who is assertive and a leader who wants to go for it. So yeah. They're coming here with an apology. They're coming here with the truth. I think they're getting here in time. You've, you've literally been waiting for it. And that nine of pentacles, you know, that's... Where's that other pentacle? Well, we know the empress has access to all the elements. So there is the nine pentacles in here somewhere. And there is the ten again. So putting this back on the table, this the end of not communicating, no contact, no communication, and or in separation. It could be that this is the beginning of bringing you back together. Or for some of you, there is a coming together, but there's still a distance, you know? But a renewal is really, really, really strong here. That 10 deducing into a 1, lots of potential for sure. And somebody taking the opportunity, and here in this Ace of Wands, again, I feel like it might be that, that they get a, a, a message or a phone call or something through, kind of just you're not going to be expecting it. They're going to get this harness fastened <laughs> before they do because I feel like, I don't know if you gave ultimatums, but I feel like it, it has to happen. And again, what is in this Ace of Cups? Is this marriage proposal energy? What is this proposal? It can be a marriage proposal. It doesn't mean that it is. You know, it's a, it can just be coming in here and restarting this connection coming in here with how they feel about you and all the emotional energy around the apology. That is here, but is there more? I think so. It sure looks like it. Aquarius. Let's bring in some Oracle. See if we can get a little bit more insight. We're shuffled, but I like to shuffle more. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse right now, by the way. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what Aquarius needs to see. Aho. Yeah, look. That's the moon energy. It's the blindfold. Off. All the what hasn't been seen. So a lot of the issues around this, I don't think they're just completely around somebody hiding feelings, you know? But that is here. I do have to say, because they're coming in with the opposite of that emotionally available, open, vulnerable, trying to come out of that fear, moving that crustacean away and letting the emotions flow and fill that up. As you can see, that's connecting to the blindfold energy. That's more moon energy. Pisces energy, also Cancer and Gemini coming through. Lantern illumination, hermit energy, getting clarity, figuring things out. Virgo and Mercury energy, some details. Going within for clarity, apart, not, you know, communicating, separated, trying to figure things out here. Again, for some of you, this separation between this emperor and this empress today, 
might be around even some legal contracts. I don't think that's for everybody, but look as I say that honor wreath, that is the case for some of you. But it can also be that that's what's coming in here around this Ace of Cups and Ten of Pentacles here, Nine of Pentacles, that this is back on the table, leading you there. Or again, maybe you were there. But the separation, it's like it's time now, <laughs> putting these wands down. That's your journey of love here, this castle in the distance. The Schloss, as we say here in Austria. And... It's like trying to reach that, you know, it's like putting those wands down. It's just a lot of, exa it's exhausting. It's also reunion energy. The Sphinx, ancient wisdom. So that's bringing in, by the way, again, a lot of divine feminine energy here, a lot of giving energy here. That's connecting again with the high priestess, also with the chariot energy. You know, you, you ancient times, I should say, you would come up with the answer to the riddle to get through the Sphinx, you know, the, the obstacles. So it's both the chariot energy and the Cancer and the Moon energy and getting things moving here. For some, maybe actual travel again around this Three of Wands because this is a coming together energy. It's coming together regardless. And I feel, where where are you going? This communication about, are we coming back together? What is this? What's been, what's happening? I'm waiting here. So it can be actual physical travel, but it can also be, of course, just around the communication. Strong energy of that, though. The separation, trying to figure out where things are going here. And also that Sphinx, you know, that's connecting with ancient wisdom with a lot of revealing energy connecting here to the High Priestess kind of secrets, things being revealed, also connecting with the, the blindfold, crown accomplishment, working things out, crown chakra, grapes, blessings. I like this because that's connecting with the development here of the pentacles, the commitment, going back in here. So whether you were here, you were working toward it or it was on the table, it feels very much like it's on the table. Expansion, fiery energy, ace of wands, both in the fast energy that I've been feeling. Like once it's moving, it's moving really fast. That's literally what that is. And that's connecting, of course, to the fiery energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Right here with the Empress. And here's the thing. It's kind of like restart energy, too, because the fiery energy in here and the Empress and and all of this growth and abundance, it could be that, yeah, it's like things had been destroyed for a lot of you. And there is the renewal here, which the renewal is here. Because oftentimes, fire is a destroyer. You know, it is. I mean, and Mother Nature, of course, regenerates after that. And the ground can be more fertile, which is also connecting the fertility to the Empress. And the Ace of Cups and the Empress, it can be for a lot of you that there is some family energy here around additions to family or other family members. We're going to leave it at that. Mountain goals. What do you want together? Also overcoming the obstacles. Yeah, this is, this is really clear, Aquarius. Your last card's coming through. I've just been seeing this resistance card for days. <laughs> the bull, it's like a stubborn energy. You know, look, there's an eclipse here. It's like, get that out of the way so the sun can shine. So they're low. I just looked up and the camera wasn't recording. So I'm just going to back up a little with what I was saying. I'm hoping that it brought down the mountain goals energy of reaching your goals together, getting back in or starting again. Look, developing blessings around this. I really like this crown accomplishment, things working out. Crown chakra, you know, that's also connecting to that sun energy, the outcome, a successful outcome, a new beginning here, the end of no contact, no communication. Yeah, and I feel like it's a whole lot more. And what I was saying when I saw the camera wasn't on anymore is I was talking about this bull resistance energy, which of course is bringing in some stubborn energy, bringing in some Taurus energy. And 
that eclipse. It's like something blocking that sun energy. You know, somebody has been stubborn. And I, what I was saying when I looked up is I kind of feel like it's a little bit of both of you. Because we have two really strong energies in the emperor and the empress who belong together, who are both in the upright here and who are here for it. But there has been, there is some like, and the selfish energy, what's interesting in the hangman in reverse is right underneath the Ten of Pentacles. And it's also right in between the Emperor and the Empress. So kind of what has been keeping things from moving and developing, continuing to develop or even beginning. Because it's here now. It's like accomplishing that now. Removing the blindfolds, going into this Hermit energy here with the Lantern with illumination, also star energy, renewal, but going in there, literally getting clarity, personal truth, spiritual illumination, connecting all of this look of where you're going. Somebody's holding up a flag. So there's both a devotion energy here, it's emperor and the empress energy, but also somebody kind of like giving in, <laughs> which I think is around the emperor energy. It could be for some of you, there is an older male here. It doesn't mean that there is, but that energy does come through. It's not about gender. It, for me, it's really just about that energy of somebody moving forward. So yeah, that's the person, your person, I want to say here today, kind of like holding up the flag because they have been, res both of you, I feel like have been stubborn. There have been some power struggles here. <laughs> okay. And Interestingly enough, look, it's wanting to be here on the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Connecting right here with the Emperor. So staff is here. Some magician energy, Gemini and Virgo, Mercury, turning visions into reality. Inspired action. So taking that inspired action, manifesting soulmate energy and a new beginning. The opportunity, lots of potential here and taking that opportunity because that's the direction. You know, and it's this alchemizing energy here in the wand of the magician who has access, like the empress, but has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire, and can alchemize everything that's gone on, what's currently going on, and set things up for the future. So that's working things out together and moving forward again. It's not just skipping over it, you know. It's not just, I'm sorry, okay, yeah, I trust you again, <laughs> There's work here that you both need to do to accomplish your goals together. There are mountains I feel still to climb. And that's up to you. And that's up to your person, Aquarius. It's not up to me. It's not up to tarot. You have free will. Your person has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. So the decisions that you're making are your own here. I really like this energy for you a lot. I want to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self and see what they may want to say to you in these messages today. It's interesting how they, sometimes I find where, my, where I'm being led and I have some ready and then it's like, no, those aren't yours. <laughs> I'm going to look at the ones that are, whoa, excuse me, that was loud, that are up. I can't sleep. I think of you 24-7. So I can't sleep. I think of you 24-7. Who is that? Is that you or is that your person? Yes, you are. You are my biggest wish. So that's nine of cups energy coming in, Jupiter and Pisces energy. going here in between you. I wish you were mine. You are my biggest wish. I wish you were mine. Okay. So like your reading, you know, not everything is always going to resonate. Take what resonates for you. And if you ever feel you're sending a message, then that's what's going on. I'm sorry. Going right here with this King of Swords in reverse, connecting to the moon energy, the lack of communication, the sharing of feelings, the holding back, which is a lot of what you've been waiting for, but I think there's just a whole lot more, of course, going on. I've never felt like this. I'm 
My heart belongs to you. I reread our messages. That Eight of Wands in reverse. The King of Swords in reverse. Having trouble getting that communication through. I love you. I have so many regrets. That's the Seven of Swords in reverse, actually. And it's connected here with the Six of Swords in reverse, Mercury and your energy, Aquarius. And that's just some stagnancy issues, you know, some trouble communicating, moving forward. So that's clearly, you know, and, and look what it's connected to, the Knight of Pentacles, who's holding on to the commitment. By the way, the Nine of Pentacles... That Knight of Pentacles came back, taking that over here to the Nine of Pentacles and giving us the Ten of Pentacles again. So it's like a redo or trying again, going back into it, because there are some trust issues here, which I feel it's why it's so stagnant. Fasten that harness, Aquarius's person. I miss you. There is so much left unsaid. There is. I made so many mistakes. So did this come through again? I have so many regrets. I made so many mistakes. Your last channeled love message here in this, I should say not deck, but <laughs> your love notes. Then we're going to look at the last three kind of Valentine's hearts, okay? We're a little bit early. You are my other half. So this is lover's energy, soulmate energy. For some of you, this could be around your twin flame. I don't, that's definitely not for everybody, but that energy is here with you are my other half. If you are on a twin flame journey, there are really long in-depth twin flame readings below where you'll, you'll get a really in-depth reading if you want. Again, I know that's not for everyone. Somebody's sending a hug. You are my other half is here. So is this a telepathic communication here? I think so. It's either that or it's validation. You are my other half. You are my other half. Or is it you're my other half? You're my other half. <laughs> validation. Looks a lot like it's both of you because that's the emperor and the empress. You are my other half. You are my other half. The emperor and the empress belong together. I'm sending a kiss. So there's some physical longing here too. I'm going to leave it at that. The hug and I'm sending a kiss. Beautiful Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me today. That is your reading. I appreciate you being here. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so much for that. I'm sending you love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, take care. Bye Aquarius.